What's up guys, in the video today we're going to discuss about Larry Wheels and his decision to stop taking anabolic steroids and a few important things which we can learn from it. If you don't know already, Larry Wheels is a massive social media influencer. He has millions of followers on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, you name it. So he has a great reach in our fitness community. I really respect Larry Wheels because he is a great athlete obviously but also because he's very open with what he is taking and he's not misleading anyone, he is very transparent, which we obviously need more in our fitness community. So one important thing he mentions is that he's gonna be quitting all the gear, all the compounds, except for one thing. So I'm going to be on testosterone replacement therapy. He's still going to be doing TRT, which stands for testosterone replacing therapy, because after all these years of gear use and abuse, his natural levels of testosterone are shut down forever. Even though he tried doing PCT a couple of times, they never came back. So I tried post cycle therapy several times when I first began cycling and I was unable to recover. He's always going to be dependent on TRT. So for the last decade, many of you know I've been using PDs, peptides, all kinds of performance enhancing drugs. One thing is worth mentioning for all of you watching is that when you take steroids, your natural testosterone production is completely shut down. Then after you stop taking steroids, it will slowly, slowly, slowly come back up. Some people need to take PCT for that. Some people can just go cold turkey and they will slowly come back. But unfortunately for some people, one thing can happen. They will never go back to the levels they were prior to taking steroids or they are completely shut down which is not necessarily a bad thing. If you are a person in their 40s, in their 50s, when their natural production of testosterone is already low, then okay, I understand, you can do that, it's advisable, you know, if you do it under doctor supervision, that's totally fine. But if you are a lifter in their 20s, or if you are a teenager, when your testosterone levels are at their peak, why would you do that? Why would you endanger your health? Why would you mess up with your uh, hormonal system, which can have long lasting side effects? There's absolutely no need guys, stay natural, that's a way better way of doing it. Another important thing he mentions is that he's conscious that he's going to be losing size and strength, two things which are detrimental for his sport. I've been on PDs and hitting PRs the last decade, okay, for 10 years straight. The fact of the matter is PDs make a tremendous difference uh, because the time I did cycle off, okay, albeit my T levels did crash. Um, the changes were night and day. I mean, I remember losing 30, 40 pounds coming off cycle within a few weeks. We're talking 20 to 30 percent of a drop in strength, 20 to 40 pound drop in body weight. And that's what a lot of the times when people are going on steroids, they see themselves growing bigger and stronger. And then when they come off, they realize that they are losing uh, most of the things they gained all the strength, all the power, all the muscles, and that's really hard on their mental psyche. That's why a lot of the times people just jump straight on it. Yeah, so the steroids in general are not addictive per se, but because of the effects it has on your body, where well, when you go to the gym, you are getting stronger, you are getting bigger, you are getting leaner, everyone starts to mention, oh wow, what you've been doing, you've been getting bigger, you've been getting, you're getting stronger, you look good, man, you look good, bro. You can get all these compliments, you know, you obviously, you feel good, you feel strong, you feel like Superman, all these people giving you praise. And then once you go off, yeah, you start to hear, oh, bro, you've been losing weight. Oh, bro, what's going on? You, you look smaller. Oh, you, what's going on? You don't lift as much. Your pumps are not the same, you know, you don't look the same. You look in the mirror and you see that the body is changing for the worse and then it obviously messes up with your psyche and then you just want to go back as soon as possible. That's why a lot of people cannot go cold turkey. A lot of people, they just uh, blast and cruise. Basically, they have to lower their dosages for a while until their body kind of recovers and then boom, they blast it again and they blow up again. So this is like a never ending cycle, guys. It's not, as I said, it's not addictive per se, but because of these factors, you always want to be on it. Uh, so I can't attribute all my success to PEDs, but I know that they have made a significant impact on my physique and my achievements and streets of strength. Another thing he mentions towards the end is that he's going to be doing this for a while, you know, because he's not rushing things. But at some point, he realizes that he's going to go back on steroids to try to get bigger, stronger and, you know, smash. Uh, bigger numbers on his uh, lifts and stuff like that. So what did this mean with my thousand pound deadlift? Well, 
I'm not calling it quits on it. I am putting the brakes on. Which is, as I mentioned before, you know, sometimes you see yourself that you're losing all this progress and then you just want to jump back on it so you can get bigger, stronger and, you know, hit these high numbers. But, um, but with his reach, I hope a lot of people will take the same decision as he is to quit steroids, hopefully for good, because fitness community should be about health, not about drugs, not about scams and stuff like that. So, um, well done Larry, I applaud you, uh, keep doing it, keep spreading the positive message, keep being transparent, I hope more people in this industry will do the same and um, will be a very good example for the generations to come. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, I would love to hear your opinion in the comments section, so please let me know what do you think about Larry Wheels, about my video, about his video, about fitness um, industry in general, give the video a thumbs up and I shall see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.